We step outside Nigeria where Vice President Kamala Harris and the former President Donald Trump are pushing their closing messages to voters on the last day of campaigning before America decides its next president. Both candidates are in a final sprint across key battleground states with Harris to campaign in Pennsylvania today and Trump heading to North Carolina, Pennsylvania and Michigan. The two candidates are making their final pitches to the electorate. And make no mistake, we will win. I believe we can win. Visiting swing states where this election will most likely be decided. On Saturday, Mr. Trump began with an appearance in North Carolina, with a surprising stop in Virginia next. No Democratic presidential candidate has carried North Carolina since Barack Obama in 2008, although it has been decided by less than three points in every election since. There is perhaps no more important swing state than Pennsylvania, where Mr. Trump campaigned on Sunday. Get the hell out of here. But he also made surprising appearances this weekend in North Carolina and Georgia, another southern state that has leaned Republican for almost three decades. That is, until Joe Biden carried it by less than half a percentage point four years ago. We will win. We will win. We will win. We will win. Ms. Harris campaigned in Atlanta on Saturday before a rally in North Carolina's capital. She's made several stops in Michigan on Sunday. More than 66 million people have already cast ballots in the 2024 election, which is more than one third the total of those who voted in 2020. And while early in person voting has ended in many states, there will be a huge push for final hours early voting in at least three key states as the campaigns work to bank as many votes as possible before election day. That includes Michigan, where in-person early vote runs through Monday. Voters in Wisconsin can vote early in person through Sunday, although it varies by location. And in North Carolina, voters had until 3 p.m. Saturday to cast early ballots in person. The early voting period officially ended Friday in Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, and Pennsylvania.